So we have a little question here about Inst from Instagram. And now, if you want to film on Instagram, Duran Rider on Insta. Post stuff most days. So we've got a question here. Message from Instagram. I get a lot of messages, emails, PMs. I apologize. I don't get back to most. 95% of them I don't get back to. Occasionally I'll see one. And I saw this one. It sort of stood out. So we'll read it off. I don't know whether or not you will respond, but I'm going to talk anyways. That's a good attitude. I really appreciate how real you and freely are. Thank you. I respect the fact that you don't do the whole unicorn rainbow shit. I've been vegan since last March, and it's been hard trying to figure out who is real or not in this whole vegan and raw food movement. I just read the 26-page PDF called Give Me The Truth on Christina, Doug, and others. It really shocked me that there was so much bullshit going on. It's unfortunate, but... There's always fake people, crazy people in every movement. So it's not just this movement. There's always some characters out there. Uh, it really shocked me that there was so much bullshit going on. But I'm glad I know you and Freely are not unicorn rainbow fake. I really look up to you guys. The other day I was freaking out when I realised you follow me on Instagram. I like to follow people back. I don't always, but, you know, I like to follow some people. I seriously feel so honoured. No worries. A couple of months ago, I created a YouTube channel and made my Insta more about veganism. I later got a DM from a girl who used to bully me years ago, and she said that I inspired her to take charge of her life and care for the animals. That's what it's about. So with my help, she became vegan. It was one of the most amazing moments because when I was too scared to stand up and take charge of my life, I would have never thought this would actually happen. This is my inspiration, other than the animals of course, to have a YouTube channel about veganism and all that jazz. My question for you is if you have any advice on keeping it real with videos and posts. I want to help inspire people in a positive way, but not in a fake way. I have no idea if I make any sense and I ramble a lot, but thanks anyways. Thank you so much for all your work you and Freely do, it really makes a difference. I think there's a possum in the roof. If you see a ghost tapping me on the shoulder, let me know. That was pretty random. Um, it's just me in the house. And the ghosts. Basically, so the question here is how to inspire people but not in a fake way. Just be yourself. If you're fake, then just be fake. Some people are just fake in real life. So that's not a bad thing. It's just not what we are into. You know, so if somebody is fake and hey guys, what is this? And then, and then, you know, if that's what they are, then that's what they are. So that appeals to some people, and genuine, legit, with integrity appeals to some people. So there's not so much a right way or no wrong way. It's just about fucking being yourself, being authentic. And if you're authentically fake, then that's fine as well. I used to be really like, oh, this is bad. But if you're fully fake, then embrace that and just play it, man. Just be it. Versus, it's better to be loved, what's the saying? It's better to be loved, it's better to be, it's better to be hated for who you are than love for what you're not. So if you're fully fake or fully real, either way, man, just do what you want to do. If that's what comes off naturally, because when you're being authentic, even if you are fake, <laughs> even if you're fake, it sounds like, what the fuck are you saying, do or not, to be authentic, be a fake. Whatever you do the best, whatever is you, if you're a fake person, then be fake. Because that's going to appeal to the people who want that message. And if you're authentic and real, authentically real, then be authentically real. If you're authentically fake, be authentically fake. Just be who you are. Be the person you are. People say, what religion do you follow? You into spirituality. My definition, of, my definition of spirituality is being your true self. Being who you really are. Be that person who you want. Just do what comes naturally. Do what comes naturally. Um... That would be my bottom tip, how to be real is just be yourself. You might be fake, you might be over the top, you might be shy, whatever. Be yourself. Talk like no one's watching. <laughs> Dance like no one's watching. Be yourself. Right? And I think the problem people get into is they try and be something that they're not. And like some people might, some people might be just trying nicey nicey, but in real life they're a fucking bitch. So I think if you're a bitch or an asshole, be that person on camera as well. And that's where the disappointment comes in. A lot of people are like, hey guys, whatever. But in real life, they're just like cutthroat bitches, fake bastards, whatever. And then there's like fans like, oh wow, and they're really disappointed. So just be who you are in real life. Um, so whether that's fake or authentic, this is, this is confusing you. If you, know what I'm, if you know what I mean, 
write it down below if you understand what I'm trying to say. Bottom line, just be yourself and have fun being yourself. And if people can't hack it, that's fine. They'll find someone else, you know. They'll find someone else they can relate to and get the message out of there. The most important thing is, is if you're fully fake or fully real, it doesn't really matter as long as you're putting something out there, putting some content out there, spreading the message bigger, you know. That's what's, more, that's what's most important. So that's my bottom line tip. Again, be yourself. Just be your fucking self.